What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're talking about something a little bit different. We're not specifically talking about cars tonight. No, nope, 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 nope. So I figured since we all spend so much time here on the channel, uh, I thought it'd be a cool idea to do a little thing of uh, who is Smedia? So who is this dude? Who am I? Some of you don't actually know my name. So I thought this would be a cool video to shoot. Now I did throw up a question on my Instagram for you guys to be able to ask some questions that you've been curious about, about who I am and just uh, kind of kind of what, what the backstory is of the channel also. So, I mean, let's just, let's just start going off. So if you guys don't actually know who I am, uh, my name is Tanner. I I do all the Smedia stuff. I am Smedia. Um, Smedia is the name of the channel, obviously. And uh, where's some something that no one has really asked yet, but I have a feeling people are curious: is what what is Smedia? What does it mean? Where did it come from? So I was in the army for four years. I was a UAS operator. If you don't know what that is, I flew drones essentially. Um, I worked on them. That, that wasn't my job, but my my MOS title for those of you who are in the army or military. I was a 15 whiskey. Uh, I went to basic training out in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and I went to AIT out in Fort Huachuca, Arizona, and I was out there for about 10 months or so, uh, learning how to fly and doing all the training for that stuff. So it was a super fun job. I ended up getting stationed down in Fort Polk, Louisiana. I did one deployment over to Jalalabad, Afghanistan, uh, which that was, a, that was actually a really beautiful place. So, I mean, a lot of people think that the Middle East is just a war-torn country, and it's, it's actually a lot more beautiful than you would think it is. So. I ended up doing uh, about four and a half, five years in the army, got out, and then I moved back up here to where I grew up, um, out in like the Tacoma, Puyallup, South Hill uh, area out up in Washington state. So I'm in Western Washington, uh, just south of Seattle a little bit. Super cool little area, but uh, the downside is it is relatively expensive to live out here, so I mean. Now let's actually talk about the name Smedia for a minute because I know some of you are curious on what it means, where did it come from, and why. Just why. It's a really weird name, isn't it? So when I was in the army, uh, my boss was from Ecuador. He was a super cool dude. He was very strict, um, taught me a lot of things, but he had he had a slight accent to him, and he never called. He, he never pronounced my last name right, and it always came out Shmi, um, kind of like the pirate from what was it Captain Hook or something like that, Peter Pan, something like that. So. That name kind of stuck while I was in the army, and then when I got out, it just kind of followed me through. So I ended up adopting it into Smedia, which is a combination of like SME and media, um, just because I also do a lot of photography, videography, and that kind of stuff, which is another reason why I started getting into YouTube, is it was, it was a skill I wanted to learn. So when I first started doing YouTube, I'd never made videos before. I'd never, never taken photos or anything like that. So it's just a skill that I ended up picking up and learning as I went along doing all of this stuff, which I have enjoyed learning and growing and I will continue to do so because this is only the beginning. And I'm so excited to see where it goes. But with that, um, let's, let's talk a little bit about what I do for work. So some of you were curious how I pay for the cars, parts and everything like that and what I do for work. So what I do is I'm a product manager. If you don't know what that is, I manage like product life cycle analysis, analytical data management, that kind of stuff. Uh, I also do some microbiology, doing like CFU counts for anyone out there. I know there's some of you that are also into microbiology. So I mainly do like CFU counts and uh, growing, growing specific types of bacteria. And with that, I mean, it pays the bills. It's not something I want to do forever, but I do enjoy doing it for the time being. It's fun, it's different every day. Um, it can be a little challenging at times, but it, it definitely, it pays the bills for right now. But like I said, I would love to be able to do media long-term, um, whether that be YouTube, videography, photography, anything that involves me using a camera. I, just, I love using a camera. I've become accustomed to just like talking into them now. It's like, just, I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's a really weird thing um, when you, for, if you guys do it, or even if you don't do it, just go in your bathroom and just hold up, hold up your phone and just try recording yourself. It's really weird to do at first, but it's like, a, it's, it, you get used to it and it's like talking to a person after a while. Don't, don't quite understand it. Uh, but what are some of the other questions you guys had? Let me check the Instagram. Some of you wanted to know how old I am. Uh, actually, quite a few of you asked how old I am. I'm 26, uh, I turned 27 in June. So there you go, I'm, I feel older than I actually am. Probably the bad knees, who knows. Ah, good question. Why did I join the army? So when I got out of high school, I graduated high school in 2011 and uh, 
back at that time, I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to keep doing school. I just didn't want to know what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, at the time, I was a huge skateboarder. So if anyone else, I know some of you out there skate also. I don't skate as much as I used to, uh, but I was a vert skater. I was a big vert skater. I skated for years. I used to do competitions. At the time, I think I skated for six years doing vert. I would do uh, six foot half pipes. Um, I could do some street, but it wasn't my forte. 07 Ace Ti. Oh, that's, uh, that's clever. That's a clever name. So he asked, what, what kind of inspired me to do a YouTube specifically about these cars? Now, to be honest with you guys, I specifically didn't start this channel for Subarus. I just happened to have this STI um, when I wanted to start learning how to record and do videography. And, oh geez, the car just beeped. And because of that, um, it kind of evolved to what it is today. Oh God, my phone just scared the hell out of me. Shy a surprise. Now the intent behind the channel um, was I was obviously into cars. I'm still into, I love cars. Cars are like my life. And with that, I just wanted to record stuff and uh, make, make videos out of them. I enjoyed making videos. As you guys have seen, for those of you that have been around since the very beginning, there's been a huge learning curve and uh, just like, like a spike in like video quality, what I've learned, how I've learned to edit. So I mean, specifically Subarus were not the reason why I started the YouTube channel. The reason I started the YouTube channel was just because I wanted to learn how to do media and videography a little bit more. And it kind of evolved into what it is today and uh, the channel will end up going outside of Subarus at some point there are other cars that I would love to own and uh, as as we continue to grow and as things happen we will end up getting more now keep in mind this STI will never leave the channel this this car has a lot of sentimental value to me and we can talk about that a little bit because we are getting to know know who I am a little bit more. So the reason why this car is, it's never gonna leave the channel. So my mom passed away about two years ago and I had this time in my life where I would jump from car to car to car. And the reason, the reason I'm keeping this one is this was the last car that she saw. Um, she passed away from some heart complications and some other stuff. It was a, it was a, it was a surprise. So, I mean, also tell your, tell your guys' moms you love them. Go tell your mom you love them if they're still around. I mean, life is short. But that car will never leave the channel. It has so much sentimental value to me. Even if the engine blows, if it ever gotten in a car accident, we would, we would fix it, we will rebuild it. It will always be here. It's never going away. So, I mean, the channel will still always have Subarus on it. Um, but like I said, as time goes on, there are other cars that I do want to own. Now, some of you want to know, do I have any other hobbies outside of cars? Yes, I love photography. I love videography. Like I said, anything with a camera in my hands, I just, I love to do. If I could just walk around, take photos all day, every single day and shoot video all day, every single day, God, that would be a dream that I would just love to do. Videography, anything camera related, it's just, it's a huge hobby of mine and I just love to do it. So someone asked, is there a story of like what got me into cars specifically? I don't think they're really, I mean, kind of. So the re, I mean, how I got into cars is what, one of my best friends, Eric, um, him and I went to high school together. We both had really shitty cars in high school, but to us, they were, they were awesome little cars. You guys have seen, I had my 1988 XT, uh, and my buddy Eric had a Toyota Celica. They were both eighties. I don't remember the specific year of his. Um, Eric ended up getting into drifting. He's a super cool dude. He's been on the channel once before. And, uh, right now he has an SR or right now he has a, and right now he has like a JDM 240. So super cool car that he's, uh, he's building. Also, we'll try to get some of that on the channel too for those of you who might be into some like Nissan stuff. Super cool car, he's doing a swap on it, full cage. Um, but Eric ended up getting into drifting and that kind of pulled me into the car scene also. Now I didn't specifically get into drifting like uh, all my friends did but I did get like sucked into cars. Now, as some of you know, I used to be sponsored for autocross and time attack driving back in like 2014. And that's what really, really pulled me into cars was uh, being able to take the cars out on a track and just drive them hard. It, it became very addicting, very fast. And now this is what it's led me to making more power, wanting to go faster, wanting to handle the car better. And with summer uh, quickly approaching, hopefully with everything going on in the world, we can get back out to the track here soon uh, because I would love to do a track day with everyone. I'd love to do like a subscriber meetup also at the track for anyone else who wants to take your car out there. We can go head to head. We can do all that fun stuff. I'm going to promise you I'm not the best one out there, but I'm going to have a hell of a good time doing it. And that's all that matters. So, I mean, that is a lot of the stuff about me. Um, if you guys do have any other questions just regarding anything in my personal life that we didn't cover and you guys want to know, feel free to drop it below and uh, we can talk about it. I'll answer your guys' questions as long as it's not weird. If you ask me a weird question, not gonna, I'm not going to give you a straight answer if it's weird. Just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. But with that, I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a little more information about who I am, 
why we did the channel, where the channel came from, why it's named what it is, uh, and then answer some of your guys' questions. So I thought this was a cool, fun video to do. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing some work on the BRZ. The overpipe is fully dry for those of you that did watch how to wrap correctly, and it came out great. It's like crispy, solid wrap. No water is getting in there, and I'm super stoked to get that on the car and see if it actually changes anything. Actually, I did want to give you guys a quick update on the STI parts. Um, we only have two more parts to order, and that is going to be the headers and the turbo, and then we're going to start doing all of the installs on the car. So maybe in about two to four weeks is when we're going to start uh, tearing the engine apart on this car and starting to install everything. And you guys know we'll do detailed walkthroughs on it all, so that way you guys can do it too. I also have a big announcement that I'm not going to tell you guys what it is now, but in three weeks from today, I have a huge announcement coming to the channel that I'm super stoked to do to tell you guys. Um, it's nothing car related, but it is related to the channel. Um, so I'm super stoked for it. Three weeks today, I'll tell you what it is. But with that, ooh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button, turn it blue, like the Subaru. Ooh. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be because you don't want to miss out on all the cool stuff we're going to be doing to the STI here soon. I said that really fast. Go ahead and subscribe right up here in this corner if you would like to. And with that, ooh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!